Hello everybody, this is Stonewall, and today we're going to be hitting Prestige 8. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that are much higher prestigious, um, but I'm also going to go through some of my stats and some of that type of thing. So, number one, I was hoping to do a supply drop opening, and looking yeah, at the uh, 15 pack bundle here, I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> so we'll see what uh, what bundle gets added or what gets changed out because this is going away in just a little bit um, and by the time you see this video it'll already be on to the next one um, but I've got 349 keys so hopefully I'll be able to get whatever the next uh, bundle is um, <clears throat> so let's take a look at some of my classes real quick I was actually going through some of the rig challenges that's why I'm running the active camo and rear guard I actually finished those up this one's not really the way I had the class set up. I just had it here so I could check my uh, knife camo challenges from playing all or nothing. Um, but the R3K, and I've been playing a lot of the tactical modes to get my headshots. That's one of the best tips I could give for getting your headshot challenges. The HVR Gemini, this is kind of my counter streak class. Uh, blind eye, cold blooded, engineer, and hardwired. Uh, and counter equipment, of course. Uh, running the P-Law. I've actually already got the uh, the Spartan Gold. Um, and the HVR Gemini I'm running because I'm very close on getting my slide kills. I need another 18 here. Um, so the next is the Mauler. I'm working on headshots on. I'm getting pretty close on it. I need uh, 31 headshots. Uh, some double kills, and then I'll need uh, three kills without dying uh, 20 times to get that one gold. Um, I've actually already got the, uh, which one was it? The raw. I've got the raw gold, and I've got a class set up for the titan. Um, the DCM8 or decimate. Uh, I've just got double kills, kills without dying, and slide kills left. So that one's kind of close. I recently prestiged it, so it's only level three. That's why it's kind of a perk heavy class right now instead of attachments. Um, <clears throat> and the KBS Longbow, I run every now and then. Uh, kind of need to, whenever I start working on the sniper rifle challenges, I'll probably get really back into sniping. Uh, if I don't do it for a while, it, it's just like if I didn't play at all for a while, uh, it just goes away. Um, <clears throat> the Volk, I'm working on headshots for. Uh, I've already got the NV4 and the Type 2, and I think I actually just finished up the K-Bar uh, just the other day. So I'm getting close to the uh, assault rifles, a little over halfway, so a 3 out of 5 there. Um, then the Karma, I've got kills without dying and slide kills. Slide kills seem to be the last thing I get on the... Uh, SMGs, then we've got the Titan, I've got quite a ways to go on the headshots, I've only got 46 out of 160, so that'll take a while. Um, so yeah, let's look at some of my stats real quick. Uh, I've got a 1.681 KD, uh, which is really not bad, it's pretty close to the highest I've ever had in a Call of Duty game, uh, 25,700 kills, um, we can look through some of this. So, uh, my best weapon is actually the raw. I got uh, quite a few kills with it. Um, and as you can see here, it's kind of funny. I've actually got the same number of headshots with the raw and the NV4. The NV4 I haven't played with uh, basically at all since I've uh, gotten it gold. Uh, same with the ERAD and the EVO, uh, KBAR Type 2. Mauler's getting close. All of these are gold. Um, and I don't really have a class that I would classify as a try-hard class. I probably ought to set one up with one of these uh, weapons I'm pretty comfortable with. But just a class whenever nothing seems to be going right, I can switch to it and uh, do a little bit better. Um, so the Mauler is the only one that I don't have gold that I've got over a thousand kills with. And I think part of that is the number of shots it takes to kill. I don't really focus on the head as much. Because if I do, I'm 
by the time I would get the kill shots in, I would be over their head. Um, then the R3K, Banshee. The shotguns for me are some of the easiest to get gold. Uh, the S Ravage down here has only got 560 kills, and I've got it gold. Uh, Rack 9 is about the same. Reaver has only got 515, and I've got it gold. The DCM-8 is the only shotgun I don't have gold. Um, and it's down here only about 400 kills. There's a few guns I really don't have many kills with. Uh, and as we can see down here, the Axe especially. Um, the Hornet and the TF-141 I haven't unlocked yet. I actually have a uh, unlock token for a classic weapon. And I was just debating on which one to use it on. Uh, I haven't really been working on the snipers much or the pistols. So it's, it's one of those I'm not sure about. And I've only got three with the axe, and I think that's from uh, playing Epic Gun Game. So my best rig is FTL, and partly because running shotguns and that kind of thing and running FTL jump uh, to get you in close really quick. Um, then after that, Synaptic and Striker all the way at the bottom. Partly because of how long it takes you to earn the Gravity Vortex gun, and I just, I'm just not very effective with it. Um, and most of this stuff's pretty standard, best lethal. Um, some of these I need to use a little bit more. The Seeker and the Black Hole Projector. That kind of thing. Uh, tactical, I need to use Smoke Grenade, Nano Shot, and Dome Shield. It's funny, the Dome Shield is something that's pretty new for Call of Duty. But uh, I haven't used it at all. I think I might have used it in the beta. <clears throat> Of course, UAV is the most used support streak, and scorchers, partly because of the preset, uh, this preset score streak setup. Um, I've spent more time playing frontline and team deathmatch than anything else, um, but I've got higher KDs than some of the others. It's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, let's go straight into our next prestige. And here we go. Nice. So, as you can see, and I, I like the way they set this up because I can look at just about everything from this place, uh, from this records area. I can look at all my mission teams. As you can see, there's only two that I don't have at least rank 50, and that's Orion and Blood Anvil. I've been focusing a little bit more on Orion, and I actually just got a uh, weapon that I wanted. And that's actually the... Uh, FHR 40 that uh, has a tighter hip spread. Since I'm working on the hip fire kills with this one, uh, I'm actually really close there. But I'm going to need that for the slides and all of that. So it's nice to have that. Alright, so let's look at the calling card real quick. <laughs> there it is. It's about the same as the uh, Prestige 7. It's actually going the opposite direction and you're looking at M16s instead of 1911s <laughs> so anyways I thought I'd just share some of my stats there they're not they're not anywhere near professional stats or anything like that um, but I feel pretty good about them so anyways this is Stonewall signing off and I'll see you in another video